When you're ready to start customizing and creating your own library labels, you might go into the PowerPoint file and discover that the font you see displayed is not the same as the font that already exists on the pre-created label. And the reason is you will need to install this particular font on your computer to make sure all of your labels match. The font I used is called KG Why You Gotta Be So Mean. It's available as a free download on Teachers Pay Teachers. I want to take you step by step through the process so you know how to download and install the font if you're using a Mac computer. I already have this particular font installed on my computer, so I'm going to go and download a new font. The steps will be the same even though it's a different font. So when you see a font that you want, in your case it would probably be this one, you would go to click download now. and then you'll want to check the download file on your computer. In my case it's a zip file so I'm going to go ahead and unzip it. Usually on a Mac you just need to double click and double click to open. This particular font has terms of use which most fonts do, a little bit of extra information about how to use the font, and then these files, these TTF files, are the actual font files. Downloading the font isn't enough. You need to go ahead and actually install the fonts on your computer, which is super simple. All that you need to do is click, double click to open, and when you do that, there is a button that says install font. You'll see a couple of flashes on the screen as it becomes installed. And that's it. It's done. Now I want the sister font for this particular one, so it's the same process. Double click to open. Click install font. Couple of flashes on the screen. And there it is installed on my computer. That's all that I need to do. And that's all that you will need to do. Now after you install the font on your computer, when you go into PowerPoint, you may not see the text in the font that you just installed. A lot of times what you need to do before the font will display and be accessible to you in PowerPoint is you need to actually go and restart PowerPoint. The font should display then. If you're still having problems and you know that you installed them, do a computer restart and that should definitely take care of it. Once you have it installed, that font will always be on your computer and always be available within PowerPoint for your use. It's just that first step you need to do to get it working.